Yo, what's happening guys? So after my recent trip to South Dakota and uh, after visiting Route Mushmore, I had there the Thomas Jefferson recipe for his custard or ice cream. They call it ice cream, but really it's a custard. Uh, so as you can see behind me, I got an ice cream maker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try and make for myself the Thomas Jefferson ice cream recipe. Of course, today as I was getting ready to film my original tripod broke and so uh I don't, I don't really have like that good of a tripod to use here. I've got like a little tiny one that I'm actually holding in my hand right now. I'm going to try and make it work. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we got the Coleman 4-in-1 grill out here, of course. You know when we're out in the van, we're going to be cooking on that Coleman 4-in-1. So I say we go ahead and uh, just jump right into it. Uh, so what the first step here is going to be is we're going to take six eggs and we're going to beat them until they are like thick and kind of lemony colored. We're just kind of going to beat them until they're... Uh, Kind of foamy, I guess. So we're sort of following the modernized version of the Jefferson recipe because what he wrote down was two bottles of good cream, six yolks of egg, and half a pound of sugar. Uh, where here we have we have basically the same thing but with more tangible measurements. Like we have six eggs, we have a cup of sugar, we have a quart of cream. So things that I can kind of actually do a little bit easier. But anyways, let's go ahead and beat these eggs. There's one. And there's six. Six eggs. It really kind of seems like a lot, but the egg is what makes the custard really good. It's what separates the custards from the ice creams. You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably going to be here for a while uh, beating these eggs, so I will catch up when they are getting to uh, a good point. All right, I don't know how much more I'm going to do on beating these eggs. I've been at it for a while. I don't know if it's going to get much thicker. My arm is getting tired. Uh, I don't think it really matters too much. I mean, it's going to go into a pot and kind of cook down anyway. It's definitely thickened up a lot, though. But uh, I'm going to give myself a break, and we're going to pop out, and we're going to start heating up the cream. We'll get, we'll get moving on this. All right, and so what the next step is here is we're going to bring to a boil... Two bottles of good cream. I guess Jefferson was basically right. I've got here two bottles, two pints of cream. That's going to equal a quart. And uh, sorry, because I kind of got to hold the camera here. There's no real like setting it down since I don't have that uh, good tripod. So it's going to be a little bit difficult, but we'll make do. All right, so now I've got my bottles of cream open. We're going to go ahead and throw those into here. It's going to go quick. It's not a lot of liquid. And we just got to bring it to a boil, so... I guess it is more liquid than I was expecting. But uh, yeah, this thing heats up quick, so it's probably going to boil pretty quick. Bam. Two bottles of good cream. We'll give that a little bit of a stir here. But uh, while that goes, we can kind of um, we can kind of pop back in and beat that egg a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, it is thickening up, but really, I don't know if I'm going to go too crazy with it. Like, I've already been at it for quite a while, and uh, I don't know how much more we're really going to get out of beating this like crazy getting kind of fluffy we're getting some air bubbles added in there all right so now at this point since we've been beating this egg for quite a while we're gonna like gradually start to add the sugar in what it says to do gradually add a cup of sugar so we're gonna try and gradually get that added on in here without going too crazy on it and uh you also need a pinch of salt it's crazy how many sweet things always need a pinch of salt also All right, so there it is, the last of the sugar. We added that pretty gradually, I would say. Get that a little bit more mixed. Looking pretty good. So we're just going to go ahead and hit that with a splash of salt here, too. Not too much. You don't go crazy on the salt. I kind of went a little crazy on the salt, I'm not going to lie. All right, we're back out here to the cream, and it looks like we're getting pretty close to a boil here. I could probably turn the heat up a little bit. I didn't want to leave it with, like, super high heat when I was in there working on the eggs, but uh, we could probably bring it up a little bit. Milk is always one of those weird things. It's like nothing, 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 doesn't boil, doesn't boil, and then all of a sudden it's like, bam, you, you missed your chance, it's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my egg mixture out here, kind of beat that a little bit more while we wait, because uh, this is gonna go into there next. We're gonna add this bit of a mixture into the, into the pot here. Oh yeah, I think we're getting pretty close on a boil to this. It's starting to get that little bit of a, top layer. I'm going to keep mixing it. 
so we don't get any uh, any burnage, hopefully. All right, I think I'd go ahead and say we're close enough to a boil. I don't because it's thick, you know, I don't think we're going to get like a rolling boil. It's getting that uh, film on the top and we're getting bubbles. I'd say that's probably good enough. So now we're going to go ahead and throw the egg mixture on in there and mix that in until it gets uh, nice and thick. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to kind of slowly go about this. We're going to add a little bit. It's getting a little bit hard to do because I have to do the double camera or the camera and the cooking when normally I would have like the uh, tripod, you know, it is what it is. So we're also going to kind of bring that heat down a little bit too. Trying to like add a little bit, mix it in, add a little bit, mix it in. I'm doing the best I can here, okay? It's always at the worst times when things like that happen, like your tripod breaks or, you know, stuff stuff like that. All right, so there is the rest of the egg added on in there. It's definitely thickening up already. I don't think it's going to need too much time on the heat. And uh, I'm going to have to strain it after it's done. We're going to let it uh, let it go for a little bit. Going to see if I got a strainer. Yeah, because see, we're getting some kind of congealing, some some chunks in there. I think it's probably the egg kind of cooking a little bit. So we're going to want to strain that out. But it's definitely thickened up a decent bit. All right, so like I said, I got to strain it now. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have a finer strainer than that. So I'm hoping this will work. And I've got a bowl that I'm going to pour it into. I've got the camera sort of set up on the tripod now. So hopefully I can step away. Hopefully this gives you a good enough view. But if not, sorry that you missed the straining. There it is in the strainer. I'm going to have to like lift that up and kind of try and let it drain out. <laughs> this has gone well. About as well as any of my other videos. <laughs> let's see uh, Let's see what we've done here. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's... Eh. Who knows. Dang, it's like not wanting to go through that uh, strainer. So there's basically what's left. I don't know what that is. Is that like some kind of milk fat stuff? Is that egg? Really don't know. There's what we have left. It's something like like a thick creamy kind of. I mean, I, I would say like an ice cream, but not quite uh, frozen, you know? It's like if you had a melted ice cream or something. I think I see why they say a, a very thin strainer. Because I think some of the chunks of stuff did get through. Maybe I could have another go at straining. I don't know. So what I went ahead and did is I cleaned up my strainer and my uh, wok for my grill. And I'm going to have a, another attempt at straining. We'll see if we can get any more of them chunks out. But otherwise, like I said, it is what it is. First attempt at making a ice cream, custard, any sort of thing like that. So, And I'm doing it outside on a freaking Coleman 4-in-1 with a wok. And I'm not using the proper tools. I'll tell you that much. Honestly, I think the second time really helped. Like, this is what we ended up with. Uh, we got even more of them little bits of chunks and stuff out. So I think uh, I think we're actually pretty good. Now, we've kind of got to let this cool a little bit. It's still a little warm. And uh, then we can go ahead and add the vanilla and get to the freezing process. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do here now is I'm going to go ahead and get this poured into the central part of the ice cream maker. As uh, it's cooled enough, we'll then add the vanilla, give it a little bit of a mix-up, and... We should be pretty good to go ahead and get it start freezing. At the end here, that is not going to be very much ice cream. It's like maybe a third of the way full. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and add to this one and two teaspoons of vanilla. Now, if you're Thomas Jefferson, I think you'd be using like a vanilla bean or something like that, but I ain't all that fancy. So let's go ahead and uh, get that vanilla mixed on in there. I mean, it is supposed to be vanilla ice cream. <laughs> now, to be honest with you, that was quite the experience. That was not quite what I was expecting. It wouldn't be so bad, I feel like, if you were doing it in a real kitchen. But trying to make that stuff and strain it and do all that like outside and out of the van. It's not pretty the, thick uh, and creamy. <laughs> Not the greatest, but we have it here in the metal container in the middle of this. I'm just letting it cool a little bit more before we try and like actually freeze it. It's like still slightly warm. I'm going to take some time and like clean things up a little bit here in the van. Yeah, I'll check back when I'm going to be throwing some ice and some salt in the outside of this. 
and getting it started to get it like actually freezing. But uh, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was really something. Making ice cream out of a van, kind of bonkers. But I will uh, catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so here it is in the uh, bucket. It's a pretty nice ice cream maker. We're gonna see how it does. Anyways, let's go ahead and we're gonna throw this thing on in here, and we're gonna put this on top, and then this part goes on top. Like I said, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. But I'm doing what I can. Don't judge me. Okay, I think we got it. Yep, we got it. And that will sort of lock in. I think I had it locked in and then I unlocked it. All right, so there it is. That's locked in there. Now we got to put ice around the outside here. All right, so I've got me here a uh, small bag of ice. We're going to try and go ahead and get that added on in here. At least a little bit of it for now. All right, so we've got a little bit of that added. So what you want to do is you want to do that, then you want to add a little bit of salt. I just have this laying around, <laughs> this is a Himalayan pink salt, so I'm just going to use some of that, whatever, right? All right, so we got a little bit of ice, we got a little bit of salt. Now we're going to go back in with the ice. I mean, really, I don't think we need to, like, fill this thing up with ice because i mean the ice cream was only like that much in the bottom of that metal container but uh i think the more ice we have the cooler that chamber in the middle is i think the better it's gonna be at you know making this kind of quick so kind of weird don't ask me how it works but adding adding salt to the ice does something uh to me it doesn't make much sense because like when you have uh, icy roads you add salt to melt the ice so I don't know, maybe there's some kind of reaction when the ice and the salt gets together. I don't know. But you add ice and you add salt. Don't ask me about science. I think that's always good, of course, too, when you spill a lot of the ice all over your table. That you generally, that helps out a lot. There's just, there's ice everywhere. God dang it, there's ice everywhere. Holy frig. The uh, fudge. I, I don't have any use for this bag of ice outside of this, so I'm trying to use all of it. And uh, it seems like half of it's ended up on my table and floor and couch. All right, I think that's about as much as it's going to take. So uh, I should probably add a little more salt, huh? There we have it. The ice cream is inside of here, covered with the top and this. We've got ice and salt all around the outside. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see what it's going to do. Well, it's doing... What is it doing? Oh. Okay. I thought like the inside, you can see it in there. I thought the inside was going to spin. But that stays still. The outside spins. Like the container, the metal container and the lid are spinning. Kind of wild. <laughs> but there it is. I'm making ice cream in the van. Who would have thought? Who would have freaking thought? All right, we'll give that some time to freeze up and hopefully we'll be back with a delicious taste test. So, uh, I just realized I might not have read the instructions very well because I added whole eggs and it said six egg yolks. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do to it, to be honest with you. I don't, th I don't think it'll be bad. I don't think it'll do too much harm, but I didn't follow the recipe right. If you're going to make this yourself, egg yolks, not whole eggs. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it's finally starting to thicken up. If you look in there, it's getting like caught on that uh, mixer. It's, it's been a long time. I've been waiting. It, I didn't realize how long it would take for this to actually like start to, start to solidify. But it's getting there. Alright, so all that time, two things have happened. I fixed my tripod. That uh, arm there had come off, and there's like a little bolt that goes inside of there. It was a major pain to get it back in there and get it lined up. But I did it, and we have ice cream. It's thickened up a lot. It's looking like it's pretty well frozen. So we're going to go ahead and set up here and have a little bit of a taste test. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it keep going while I get my tripod set up. And then, uh, yeah, we'll try this out. All right, so I've now shut down the ice cream maker. I've got my bowl and my spoon, which, of course, I did wash after, uh, you know, making the stuff with it. And I'm going to use that. We're going to go ahead and pop this off. And we're going to see what we've done here. Have we made a delicious Thomas Jefferson ice cream? Like what I had in South Dakota. Or have we done something else? 
I definitely did it wrong. I added the whole eggs instead of just like the egg yolks. So that was a bit of a problem, but um, otherwise I think it, I mean, I tasted it before I started freezing it and it tasted pretty good. So I think even though I fudged it up a little bit, I think it's still gonna be a really good ice cream. Pull that off. Why is that like, oh, it's hot. I guess because it's like, the lid is kind of geared. The lid sticks into this. And so like the lid spins and spins the entire uh, metal piece. And then the inside part just sits in there, which is actually kind of stuck in there because it is it is ice creamed. I guess I'll just pull this whole thing out. So this is what we've got. It's actually like ice cream. It's legitimately ice cream in there. Crazy. So um, I'm going to leave that in there for now. It makes it makes it does it does make a, a little bit more than what you're thinking because you know you're down here like that once it freezes it definitely expands so there definitely is a bit more than what I was expecting but not quite as much as what I what I really wanted we're gonna take just like a just gonna take a couple spoonfuls here let's get in close and show you so it, I mean it is ice cream that is frozen that is ice cream right there <laughs> or custard I should say let's uh let's give it the taste test. Okay. Okay, that is really good. Like I mentioned, I definitely fudged up and added the uh, the entire egg instead of just the yolk. So I think that does affect it. But it still is a really decent ice cream. It's like really fluffy uh, at the point that I'm at. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's it's frozen, but it's still like got a really big, a really good fluff to it. We'll have to see like when you... I'm gonna put it in a couple bowls and like stick it in the freezer. We'll see what it does after that, but it's really not bad. This one I have here is kind of like soft serve. Like it's frozen, but it's still kind of like flat, almost like um, a little bit like whipped cream kind of. It's good. I like it. We'll see what other folks say. We'll let some other folks try it out. But there you have it. Thomas Jefferson ice cream or uh, whipped cream in my case, I guess. <laughs> Just remember, if you're going to make this, yolks, not whole eggs. It does make a bit of a difference. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. So that way you're not going to miss out on any future videos. You can become a member if you want to help support this channel. It's only 99 cents. And with that, you're going to get access to these videos early. You're also going to get a bunch of cool emojis in the uh, chat and comments. And also emojis that will show up next to your name that say what level of a member you are. And another great way to support would also be checking out the merch. Link will be down in the description and also on the channel page. If you want to check out some of that cool stuff, we got hats, shirts, some glasses, cool stuff like that, unique stuff. So definitely check that out if that's something you'd be interested in. But uh, anyways, I think that just about does it. Thank you guys again for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.